Dressing up, unveiling the meaning behind the phrase. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a very common, yet interesting English phrase. Dress up. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, understanding these everyday expressions can greatly enhance your fluency and comprehension. So, let's dive in and uncover the various facets of this phrase. First, let's look at the most basic and straightforward meaning. Dress up literally means putting on clothes that are more formal than usual. It's often used when someone wears something special for a particular occasion. For example, I need to dress up for my sister's wedding. Example in context. Imagine you usually wear casual clothes. If you're going to a fancy dinner, you might dress up in a suit or a dress. Dress up can also have a more playful and creative aspect. It's commonly used when talking about wearing costumes or outfits for fun, often in the context of children playing or during festivities like Halloween. Example in context, the children love to dress up as superheroes and princesses. This phrase can also be used idiomatically, meaning to make something appear better or more attractive than it really is. This usage is more metaphorical and is often applied in various contexts. Example in context, the company tried to dress up the financial report, but the facts were clear. In this section, we can explore how dress up plays a role in different cultures and social contexts. For instance, in some cultures, dressing up is a crucial part of certain ceremonies or traditions. Discussion point. Compare how dressing up differs in various cultures, like the traditional Japanese kimono or the Indian sari. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase dress up in all its forms and contexts. Remember, whether it's putting on a formal suit, wearing a fun costume, or embellishing something metaphorically, Dress up is a versatile phrase that enriches our language. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using English phrases like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.